Uh, well, this is what we have. This is our launcher. This is one of the launchers we'll be using at the event. Um, the other one's similar, a little different, but works on the same exact concept. What we'll have it happen at the day is the kids will come up. And this will actually be swung out. I don't have the tool to swing it out. And we'll put it there, upside down, and then this hose will plug into the top of the rocket. We'll use Vaseline or either a chapstick, make sure the seal's upheld, the water will be in this end. And as we flip it, we'll take it as the event supervisors and we'll put it through the guide hole and it'll go there and we'll lock it in. Okay. It's very important for this straw to be as big as you can get because what'll happen is if it's too small, it'll stick on this rod and it'll pull this rod out and it'll impair their, uh, their flight. So all it is, it's a guide, so it doesn't really want any fraction, friction, I'm sorry. Then we'll put it down, and then this will lock over the top of the uh, two liter bottle. And at this point, we'll ask the students if their nose cone's correct the way they want it. And once we start pressurizing it, they cannot touch the rocket in any way anymore. So. So at that point, there will be a plastic glass here. We will uh, pressurize the rocket, and at this point, the rocket will automatically straighten out. Even if it's crooked on the pad, once you add the pressure, it will get to a completely vertical stance. Then once it's pressurized, as long as your kids have the uh, safety glasses on, they will be able to launch their own rockets. It's just a simple red button. They have to push this kind of hard once they push it, the rocket will instantly take off and that's when we start our timing and then the timing will stop as soon as it hits an object or else hits the ground. So, and it's you gotta try to keep the bottle intact. Once it comes apart, something comes off the rocket, then it'll be dropped into the second stage of judging where there's no opportunity for them to uh, be in the winning bracket. The uh, only thing on the rockets, you can't scratch any of the main pressurized bottle. I mean, you can do whatever you want to your extensions, but, uh, and so on. You can't have any glass, anything sharp. Uh, fins can be made of anything, anything that's not gonna cut somebody. Uh, foam core, CDs, anything like that. Attaching them, uh, I've always, with my teams, have always used liquid nails. It takes a while to set, so you gotta make sure you take your time with the kids. Uh, hot glue is not allowed any part of the rocket at all. Hot glue is not anywhere, and super glue is another thing, not allowed anywhere on the rocket. It weakens the bottles, and we don't want them to blow up when they're pressurized. We do an inspection before lunch. Yeah, we inspect everything. We'll visually look at it. We'll have the kids unpack the chute, and then repack it. And they can have as much time as they need to get it back to where they want it, and once they're satisfied, they can add their water. The water will be supplied by us, and uh, they don't need to bring their own bottles. Some people last year brought bottles of water. We don't really know what kind of water it is, if it's got soda in it or not, so we supply the own water. And the parachutes can be two, three, four stages. It's not, not, not us to worry about. <laughs> but parachutes are important, so. <laughs> Snap swivels are allowed only to attach the nose cones and parachutes, um, nothing metal, no bolts or anything to help aid anything coming off. Uh, you can use clay, you can use anything that, but no metal and no, uh, nothing sharp. When I say sharp, it doesn't mean like fins can come to a sharp point, as long as they don't, aren't going to cut into something if the rocket never opens. <laughs>